Well, hello there, Konnichiwa. Good morning to you all. So, well, luckily, some stuff happened and I will only be going to my hometown next week. Uh, so, um, it was good because during due, due to that fact I will be a, I, I was able to watch the the first episode of one series that I was looking forward to it and uh, from the summer earning season and this will be my f first impressions and also review for the first episode and I will be doing weekly reviews of this summer season anime and this video also marks my first video of the summer season and the season i was referring to is called gifu dudu kanetsugu to keiji and i will read uh, the synopsis in this site uh, it's easier so, the synopsis for the series is the Sengoku era gave birth to many historical legends. One of them is Naoe Kanetsugu, the brilliant military general of the Uezugi family or clan. Uh, together with Maeda Keiji, um, a legendary warrior on the battlefield, who become lifelong friends with each other. They carve out a piece of history in the most dangerous and volatile time in Japan's history. The two men recall their beginnings and the journey they took to get to the accomplished position they now sit at. So, like you read, uh, or like, like I read, uh, this series is basically, basically retelling the story about two generals that fought on the late part of the Sengoku Jidai period uh, and both men served uh, the Uezugi family in this case they served the Lord Uezugi Kagekatsu that was one of the lords of the late Sengoku period and it, he was the successor of uh, the legendary commander uh, Uezugi Kenshin of Ishigo province in Japan. So, uh, this uh, first episode, uh, before that, I will give you a small uh, history background to each character. The first one that I will speak of was, will be Naoe Kanetsugu and Naoe Kanetsugu was a man that was born in 1559 and died in 1620 he was born in the castle of Sakato in the province of Ishigo and he became the counselor of the Uezugi family in 1581 and he was an outstanding military commander and was involved in much of the fighting that took place in the Sea of Japan with Sasa Narimasa and Maeda Toshi. He was also responsible for the actions of the Uezugi clan against the Tokugawas during the Battle of Sekigahara. Um, after the surrender of the Uezugi in 1601, uh, he uh, continued serving this family until he died. The second one is Maeda Toshimazu, better known as Maeda Keiji. Uh, the date of his birth is not well known. One of the possible dates for 
is being born is 1533 and they the date they know is the, that the date of his death that was in 1612 so this general Maeda Keiji who served under the command of Oda Nobunaga and if you know a little of Japanese history Oda Nobunaga was the first of the so-called three unifiers of the Azushi Momoyama period that at the end led to the rising of the Tokugawa shogunate um, and led uh, or made or created by Tokugawa Ieyasu after Sekigahara, basically. Uh, and this general, Maeda Keiji, was supposed to be the successor of the leader of the Maeda family, but uh, Nobunaga decided to switch the leader of the family, so this general lose his position to succeed the the previous leader of the family so then he later on he became friend of Naoi Kanetsugu in Kyoto because of that he agreed to join Kanetsugu and the Uezugi in the invasion of Aizu and he was fundamental in leading a retreat of the Uezugi army without any or almost any casualties after this failed campaign, he returned to Kyoto and devoted himself to arts and literature. Later on, when Toyotomi Hideyoshi decided to take over Kyushu, he barred this general to join in the campaign because he had a very wild behavior, so he decided not to al not allow these men to participate in the campaign. Um, he again uh, fought, fought uh, for the Uezugi in six, uh, six, sixteen zero zero one six zero zero, uh, and after the the defeat of the Uezugi family, he continued to serving them as a retainer. So this. Two men were both generals that served under the command of the Uezugi family and were fundamental in leading the armies of the Uezugi family in the late parts of the Sengoku Jidai or during the Azushi Momoyama period. So, roughly, this is a small resume of the career of these two men and basically this first episode uh, starts with uh, some guy uh, doing a party on your in the domain of Yonozawa in the province of Dewa and one of the guests of the party was uh, Maeda uh, Kenji and he kind of decided to go to the kitchen, ask for an axe and basically carve the axe into the, one of the pillars of the house and the guests and the owner of the house were very upset with this and then he explains and when he was going to explain uh, now Kanatsugu appears and explains that a samurai never should think that all that is achieved that's it a samurai basically needs to still look looking be looking forward trying to achieve even more even if you are already a accomplished person and basically that was the message behind this stuff with the ex that Maeda Keiji did in this party and it's very interesting because we do see the, re the relation between the two right af after 
uh, at the beginning and then they kind of go outside after all the guests being asleep and the owner of the house also be asleep and so on they are the two are drinking sake under the moon and they are kind of recalling the first time they met and the first time they met it was precisely in Kyoto during a situation because there was a, a retainer of the Uesugi family uh, that married again and apparently apparently there was a ritual that the first wife uh, will try to well basically beat the crap out of the second wife uh, because she she does not want to lose her position and both women can have others help them and during this ritual there was a third party that usually appear when they are going to clash and kind of offer gifts to the first wife trying to convince her to step down and apparently Maeda Kenji was invited uh, to be fr from the one of the, the groups in this ritual and they kind of asked help for uh, Naoi Kanetsu to be the third party and the judge of the dispute and that's the, the way and in, the, and in that way um, um, Naoe Kanetsubu did go to Kyoto to try to speak with um, Maeda Kenji because he already knew him in a battle in the past where Maeda Kenji did organize a retreat of uh, other army before he be destroyed by the Uesugi forces. Uh, and so both uh, they go to the Naoi Kanetsugu and his servant go to the red light district in Kyoto and then a ninja a shinobi appeared and he kind of points out where is uh, Maeda Kenji Naoi Kanetsugu goes there and uh, Maeda Kenji is surrounded by women in a, in a room and he is playing um, it's not a guitar, but it's a, a traditional instrument similar to a guitar, but I did not, I don't remember the name of the instrument, but it has a, a special name. And then Maeda came, uh, Naoi Kanetsugu kind of was watching Maeda Kenji playing that guitar and a group of samurais came in, barges in and, he try, are, and they are trying to assassinate Maeda Kenji and Maeda Kenji kind of defeats them, kill them and Naoi Kanetsugu also kills one of the samurais and basically that's the first time they met each other but uh, Naoi Kanetsugu did not give his name to Maeda Kenji uh, so that was very uh, interesting and then the episode ends after uh, Naoi Kanesu kind of leaves that place uh, so this is very interesting and I was particularly happy because of that because it kind of basically it all starts when they meet for the first, first time in Kyoto that at the time was the capital of Japan and apparently this first episode represents the first time they meet each other so it was very interesting I like this because I'm, a, I qu I'm quite fond of studying Japanese history especially the history of this period and um, I think it's a, passion a very passionate period a very interesting period um, so I was quite looking forward for this series so this is my well first impression review for the first episode of Gifu Dudu Kanetsugu Tokeichi uh, I love the, 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 the series since the 
start so without a doubt uh, it will be very very interesting and if you are also um, passionate about Japanese history or do uh, knowing a little more about Japanese history or about a special a, a special period in history uh, that it's the late years of the Singapore cool Shidai period I think this series will bring that to the anime community so you should watch it it's very funny and um, it's very the, sp the spirit of the samurai it's uh, greatly emphasized at the start of the episode and I s and uh, uh, it's 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 uh, excellent series so I will be reviewing this with you. so hope you enjoy my first impressions and review for the first episode stay well peace see you soon